Preparing the head sculpt for 3D printing. We're going to be going over decimation, closing holes, and forcing a manifold. So you have your head sculpt all ready to go. As you can see, this uh, file's up in the 2.41 million vertices, which is going to equate to about 240 megabytes. So in the multi-resolution tool, you want to go to the miscellaneous sub-menu of that and hit the decimation. So what decimation does is it takes those vertices, cuts them in half, but it kind of retains all of the detail. It's hard to see on here, but you can decimate it a good amount before you start to lose detail so the thing i do is i like to zoom in and then start decimating until i see a de degradation in the the texture or how the sculpt looks once it's at a good uh, uh size you can then go down in that same menu and then hit the close holes option and you're just going to want to repeat this until the uh, little menu uh, shows up on the top uh, or the little notification shows up on the top that says there are no more holes uh, in this object and then you want to do the same thing for the option below, the force manifold. So the force manifold will make sure that it is watertight and you wanna do it until it says this mesh is already manifold. And then closing the holes, this object has no more holes. So even though it says that, there's still like leftover remnants. So you wanna go back to your tree and hit the separate, uh, separate option. And as you can see, mesh one is the main sculpt, but mesh two and three are going to be little artifacts that are within your, um, 3d uh digital file so if you were to load that into a slicer uh, it would try to 3d print those little specs and then you just want to repeat this uh step process of going through closing the holes forcing the manifold and deleting any of the extra meshes that pop up until it tells you that there are no the object can no longer be separated once it tells you that the no long, uh, object can no longer be separated, you should be good to go to load it into your slicer and start 3D printing.